Today, I'll be reviewing The Dreaming Boy is a Realist. The premise for this anime series sounds interesting, so I decided to watch it. In this anime series, the main character Sajo is in love with his tsundere crush Aika. Sajo loves her and tells her he loves her constantly, but Aika can't stand to be around him. One day, a soccer ball is about to hit Sajo, and suddenly his mind begins to change. His personality changes, and he thinks it is useless to keep asking out Aika. He even begins to stop talking to her. I really thought this anime series was heading in a certain direction, but I was clearly wrong about that. I thought Sajo would have a new mindset on life, stop focusing on Aika, and move on from her. He would realize how one side and ridiculous his crush was, and find a girl that actually likes him. He would improve himself as a person and live a happy life. Of course, this anime series couldn't let us have that. Whenever there is a tsundere love interest, you know she'll eventually end up with the main character. It just felt disappointing in that regard. Sajo talked to several different girls in this anime series. It seemed like they were all interested in him. And he goes back to think about Aika instead of moving on. He kept saying he should move on from Aika. Yes, went back to her in the end. This kind of ruined the whole reason why I was interested in this anime series to begin with. Why do creators feel a need to have sooner characters win? It's just too obvious and boring of a choice. Though remake development isn't good in this anime series, it felt very sudden and very forced. It took way too long for things to develop between Sajo and Aika. While I didn't like the romance in this anime series, I surprisingly enjoyed watching this anime series for a different reason. This anime series felt kind of deep, as it was getting to social problems that people face every day. We actually see Sajo get into deep and serious conversation with girls that he knew. We got to see him help these girls develop into better people. There are actually lessons to be learned in this anime series. In that regard, it reminded me of my team rented comedy and bottom tier character Tomozaki. I couldn't believe how much I was enjoying the deep conversation between the characters. If this anime series had completely cut out the romance and that annoying tsundere character, this anime series could have been great. That's how much I enjoyed watching this anime series when Aika was on screen. The characters were alright in this anime series. Sajo was a cool and relaxed character. I like how honest he was, and how he wasn't afraid to tell people the harsh truth. Kei was a funny character that had amusing ways of teasing Sajo. Rin is a serious yet likable character. She got into a intriguing conversation with Sajo at times. Sasaki was a great energetic girl that brought much energy to the anime series. Aika is, of course, an annoying tsundere girl that I couldn't stand watching from start to finish. Just think of typical tsundere behavior, and that's basically her. The opening and ending song for this anime series were forgettable. The music for this anime series didn't really help make the serious moments more memorable. The animation style and animation looked average. This could have been such a great anime series, but the tsundere character really was unbearable to watch at times. I give this anime series a 6 out of 10.